This is probably the deck I've experimented the most with since Darkness Ablaze went live. Spear Tomb gets some great new cards from Darkness Ablaze in the form of Spike Myth. Whenever a player's active Pokemon moves to the bench during their turn, put two damage counters on that Pokemon, so that is great. And then you also have Cape of Toughness. It's just sort of like an alternative to Hustle Belt. The basic Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 50 HP, except GXs. And that just lets Spear Tomb go up to 310 damage, which if you can build it up that high, it's really good. And then I also have a copy of Piers. Just search your deck for an energy card and a dark Pokemon. You're going to be seeing this in a lot of decks that just use it for the search for an energy card effect. Yes, Guzma and Hala also has, you know, a very similar effect, but you have to discard two cards. With Piers, it's just go get an energy. You don't have to discard anything. Just you play the supporter, you get an energy, that's it. Now, while this is the list I settled on, I'll leave it in the description, I tried a whole bunch of other stuff. So I had a list with Grimsley in it, don't ask why. Uh, I had two Zigzagoon instead of one. I had just one copy of Spike Myth instead of the two. I had a Crobat V. Uh, I didn't have Piers at all. It has definitely been a wild ride off camera over here. But no matter what list I played, whatever I did, it always came back to the same thing. And that is, you just want to get Spiritomb built up quickly and recycle them if possible. So I settled on this list for the most consistency, and I decided that Oracorio GX is better than Crobat V, even with Piers, because Crobat V is one and done, Oracorio GX, you know, you could use it five times in a game, as long as they don't rate catcher or bosses it, so I just think Oracorio GX is a better option. Alright, even if this wasn't, well I'm guessing it's a welder deck, you know, based on the coin and the deck box and just everything, even if it wasn't welder, you still want to go second because Spiritomb can just knock out a Jirachi, you can put a okay. Uh, I think, well I mean I have, I have the Switch, I have the Scoop Up Net, I have the Marnie. I think, yeah, I definitely I think I put Spiritomb in the active in case I get like a Spike Myth or something. Uh, it's just a matter of what do I do after this? Okay, so there's a Jirachi, so I'm knocking that out as long as I can get, you know, a Rainbow Energy. Well, it's definitely a Welder deck. If it's Baby Blacephalon, I have a plus matchup against this. Uh, and I might just be able to donk them. Oh, and they have the... Wow, this is crazy. They have the Heart Gold and Soul Silver Energy. They have Gold, everything else, and they have Baby Blacephalon. So I would say this is roughly a... I'd say it's a 60-40 matchup here. So they have Welder, they have Energy. Okay, so if I ditch the Danny, I can Marnie them out of everything they need. I don't need the Mew though, so I think I just get rid of the Mew because I can always recycle it if I need it. I go get Jirachi. Uh, so there's some things that could happen here, some good things, some bad things. Uh, we'll see. So if I switch, I really wish I had a Spike Myth. That would be, that would just be such an easy decision. So I think. If I put the Orcorio down, I just give them such an easy target, though. So I think I switch into Jirachi, okay. see if I get anything good. There's a Quick Ball. So I think that's the right call here. And I ditch it to Denny. I keep Orcorio for later. And then I Marnie them, because I know they have a lot of good stuff in their deck. And I think it doesn't really matter. I, I need Jinx and I need Spiritomb. I need both of them. So as long as I get one, and then as long as I get an energy. So this has to be a real good Marnie here, so maybe I shouldn't have ditched Denny, but what are you going to do? Okay, so scoop up the Jirachi, put a Spear Tomb in the active, Jirachi, Marnie, and there's Aurora. Okay, so I need to get a Jinx with this. That is not Jinx, that's a Buzzwool. I believe I have lost the game. Alrighty. So I'm just going to fill everything up. So the reason I needed Jinx is because that would just let me knock out the Jirachi. Um, is it worth it putting any damage on this thing? Probably. You know, if, if only this had been... If only that had been a rainbow energy, the Jirachi would have been done. I would have had an extra damage counter. So when you're facing another single prize deck with Spiritomb, you have to be able to get that first knockout. And I was I was one card away. I was a Jinx away. I was, you know, the Great Ball working away. 
It just I would have basically won because they didn't have a welder. And okay. They might not have another energy. And okay. This is interesting. So that Jirachi could be something I knock out later. They have Tapu Fini. That is... I mean, it would have been good if they kept it. So they're probably just going to Fireball Circus, attach. Oh! Okay. So they're just, they're just going for it right now. So I think we're sort of just in the same boat at this point. I definitely want to bring up that Oracorio if I can. I can, okay. Well, this is also not great. Let's see if I get anything useful. I have a handful of supporters. That is wonderful, thank you. Okay, so I think I just go get Bird Keeper and be like, well, this is where I'm at. You know, if I would have just grabbed a Quick Ball or something, I would have fishing rotted the Dedenne back in if I needed to. And we're just in a horrible position. So, well, there you go. Okay, so they had an amazing turn. They got their Blacephalons up and running. They did a million things. Uh, no, I'm attacking with Buzzwall. So my game plan has definitely changed. From playing my own baby Blacephalon, I know that they only play one Ordinary Rod and three baby Blacephalon. So if I can knock out their baby Blacephalon and they can't retaliate, then I should be able to win. Uh, this is unfortunate. Uh, what's going on? Okay, the game froze for a second there. So I think I have to do that. So I, yeah, I can't research. I can't do anything else. I just have to sledgehammer, take the knockout, force them to knock out this buzzwool. And yeah, at this point, I'm just hoping that they they play three baby blacephalon and not four. If that's the case, I, I have a chance to win. You know, this is not how you draw it up. That's for sure. You know, you you plan on, you know, getting that knockout on the Jirachi. You know, you have so many pieces. If I just had a Spike Myth or a Jinx or a Rainbow Energy, then all this stuff you see on their side of the field, they don't get it. Uh, there's Ultra Space, so that is, hopefully, that is the last Blacephalon. If that's the last Blacephalon, I have a chance, as long as they don't find their Blacephalon GX, because they're going down to three, I knock out, they knock out one, well, I mean, this things could get really interesting here, and I think I will... So what I'll do is, I think I'll just hang back, or do I want to use Bird Keeper? And is that number four, or is that number three? That's number three, okay. So they had to ditch some energy, that is good. So hopefully, I mean, just I want to put. Well, let's see. Let's see what's in my deck. So I have a spirit tomb. The Evelto is not going to come into play. Or Corio might come into play at the end of this game. I only have one scoop up net. Uh, Would have been real nice to put this Age of Dune down. Chip, scoop, chip. Uh, but I can't. So I used the scoop up net. That is unfortunate. So I'll put the hustle belt there. I will attach the rainbow, and just in case they play a Mew, I won't put any extra damage counters anywhere. And I will just Anguish Cry. Okay, so I mean, if they do play a Mew, I'm kind of screwed, but... I'm, I'm banking on the fact that they don't have four Blacephalon in their deck. The list that I played only had three, a lot of lists that I've seen only have three. That is what I'm banking on. You know, regardless, I think this definitely shows off Spiritomb's greatness. You know, Baby Blacephalon won that tournament. And again, I know I've mentioned this a lot through the video, but I was just one card away from basically just shoring up this win. But you, you whiff on one turn against a single prize deck, and the other single prize deck has a chance to capitalize. 
You know, I don't care that they're using all this welder. It's do you have more? You know, do you have more Blocephalon? If you don't have more Blocephalon, I think I can win. And I'm going to Fishing Rod back in. Uh, okay, I'm going to Fishing Rod back in a Spear Tomb and a Hustle Belt. Attach the Rainbow, definitely going to research, not going to do his win Hala. Hopefully I get a Spear Tomb. I got a Spear Tomb. There's the Cape of Toughness. Uh, I Maybe I do want to put the Dedenny in the... Oh, man. If I put the Dedenny back in... I think that is good, but I do they play a Tool Scrapper? Do I put the Cape of Toughness down? Do I think they play a Tool Scrapper? This is real tough. I mean, they probably play the Cramorant, so that would be really tough. This is just... this is horrible. Well, I think I think the odds that they, they get Cramorant up and running are quite high. Whoa, so I get the Mew. I think that is just the safest bet here. I ditch the Marnie, I go get the Mew, hopefully they can't do any Cramorant shenanigans at the end of this game. Okay, and then I definitely build some Spite. And then I Anguish Cry, and can they attack with anybody? I don't think so. Alright, this is, this is what the game comes down to. Do they have it? There's a Jirachi. I'm betting that you, you milled your Ordinary Rod when you used the Denny, I think. You play three Baby Blacephalon. You can't cram around my bench. You can boss his orders around it. That's fine. I, I think you're out of juice. You know, you might be putting Blacephalon GX or Cramorant down. What's your welder count? Two welder there. Oh, they're only down two welder? So they... That is... That's a quick ball. They have a ton of energy. There's Cramorant. That's what I thought. So I'm going to Marnie them. I have a chance. It is a very slim chance of winning this game, but I have a chance. I think what I have to do... Well, I mean, they're going to have zero cards in their deck. That's it. That's game. They have zero cards in their deck. Because they're drawing three. They don't have an ordinary rod. They don't have anything. Oh, man. I am so glad I didn't concede. And they've already conceded because the well fight isn't showing up. That was insane! That was a nuts matchup. What it says you Oh, I didn't even know it, it had that in the game log. Your opponent conceded the game. That is insane. I played that perfectly. I'm like, you only have those three baby blacephalon, you don't have another one. So it just goes to show you that knowing your opponent's list is sometimes as good or better than knowing your list. So that was an absolutely insane game. I don't think I can top that in the next one, but let's go to game two and see what happens. All right, is it, if it's Rayquaza, I am just gonna lose my mind. And, oh, if I go first, that wouldn't be the worst thing, because I went second in the first game, right? So if they wanna go first, that is actually totally, or if they want me to go first, that is totally fine. And I am going first. This is not the hand I want when I'm going first, but we'll see what happens. So it's Mad Party, and I can actually just knock out that Sinistee. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. I wonder if they're going to concede. Okay, so there's a Marnie. Uh, if I get Spike Myth? No, I, I, I can't be greedy with the Spike Myth. I just want to... You know, I can't be greedy with the Spike Myth, but I can't be greedy knocking out that Sinistee. So I will Zigzagoon... Scoop up net. I mean, this is insane. Get, get out of here, Sinistee. I know I'm wasting a ton of resources just to take a, a very bland knockout, but when when have you seen somebody take a quick knockout on, on this Sinistee? And there's a Jinx. So I think I put the Jinx down just to have it. And, I mean, this is single prize versus single prize, and I took the first knockout. And I didn't put a Mad Party here in the discard. I took a knockout on my first turn. I don't think they'll ever be putting that Sinistee down again turn one. Uh, but something I wanted to talk about 
okay, good, they're not doing anything. I wanted to talk about it in the first game, but that game was so stressful, is that Spiritomb seems to have a plus matchup against pretty much everything right now. You know, it handles Decidueye, and Baby Blacephalon, I'd say, is about 60-40 in your favor. Uh, I faced ADP Zation with the deck, and I knocked out a Mawile GX turn one with Spiritomb, and they just conceded. Uh, Dragapult VMAX doesn't stand a chance now. But post-rotation, my thoughts on Spiritomb aren't nearly as good as they used to be. Losing Hustle Belt and Rainbow Energy just isn't something I think it, it can recover from. You know, just that explosiveness on turn one is what keeps Spiritomb relevant. You know, if they reprint Escape Rope or Hiding Energy turns out to be just amazing in this deck when I test it, obviously all bets are off. You know, it'll just be, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Spiritomb post-rotation. And they have made a serious error. Okay, well, I don't really have anything going on. Okay, the game is freezing. That's not a great sign. There we go. Okay, so I have Bird Keeper. I have Research. I think, I don't think I ever want my GXs to see the field. But I also need a Spiritomb. Is, is, the, is the Denny worth the risk is the question here. If I put the Denny down... I don't really have space on my bench. If I quick ball, if I did Denny, just if I give them that the Denny, that's like the greatest thing in the world for them. Okay, I can bird keeper. You know what? No. Oh man, this is just such a tough call. Okay, I'll, I'll get the quick ball, I'll get a spear tomb. I will ditch the Oracorio. Grab spear tomb. And the Zigzagoon won't come into play if I do that. So I think it makes sense to put the Shrine into play. Put the Skateboard down. And unfortunately, Denny has to see the field. And my side of the field is uh, not doing great. And Piers, would you look at this? Piers is going to be the MVP right here. Just give me that rainbow energy, Piers. I'm taking a knockout on a Dedenny. I don't know why it's weak to metal and not darkness, but I guess, you know, it's a fairy type. That's a psychic type. Okay, so basically what I just did is I bought myself a turn. You know, it doesn't matter how many Mad Partiers they get in the discard. Spirit Tomb only has 60 hit points. I just, I bought myself a turn. I have a lot of time to just figure things out. You know, they, they have the Dedenny down. That is not what they want. I have my Dedenny down, but even if they knock out Dedenny right now, that is totally fine with me. You know, I have a handful of energy. I have Bird Keeper. I have Switches. I have Jirachis. Unfortunately, this Zigzagoon is always going to be here. I, I had to do it. Okay, they have Crobat. So if Buzzwill's in the deck, they're just in a horrible position. And I didn't grab a Spear Tomb last turn, did I? I had a, I could have grabbed a spear tomb. Just I've been I've been playing so many decks with peers in them in my testing, and you you don't get a dark Pokemon, you just get an energy. So I'm not used to that actually getting a Pokemon with peers. So that was my fault. But between the Jirachis and the Bird Keepers, I think I can recover from this. You know, Mad Party, go crazy, Mad Party. I don't care. And the fun thing is is that Spiritomb only needs one damage counter on it to knock out a Bunnelby. Same with Poltegeist. So that all of their attackers, I don't need to get any damage. You know, the, the Denny and the Crobat, that's when I need to ramp up the damage, but otherwise, Mad Party... Spiritomb handles Mad Party, let's put it that way. As long as you get that first knockout, Spiritomb handles Mad Party. And, I mean, you would sort of have to... Let's say you have a bad start. You know, you would have to sort of feed them the Dedenny, because they have to get eight Mad Partiers in the discard to knock out a Dedenny. So you sort of just have to put the Dedenny in the active on that first turn and be like, you don't got it like that. And then if they don't got it like that, you're totally fine. Okay, so I think the one without anything on it is what should see the field. There's a Marnie. Okay, so I need a Spear Tomb. Um, I do want to get something. Okay. 
Definitely gonna switch. Okay. Things are dicey. If I just if I would have just grabbed that spirit tomb. Okay. Well, I think I am going to lose this one. So I think the best bet for me now is to just bird keeper into Zigzagoon and hope I get Spirit Tomb. I whoa. That is nuts. Okay. Uh, I can attack with the Denny next turn. Uh, is that what I want to do? If I attack with the Denny next turn, I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, as crazy as this is. Go for it, Dedenny. Um, now, Ominous Posture onto probably the Jinx. If this works out for me, if they can't bosses the Dedenny, that would just be hilarious. Because uh, they have eight Mad Partiers, so they can knock out the Dedenny. So this could be just horrible. Man, if I would have just grabbed that Spear Tomb and they have the bosses on the Dedenny, that is bad. Okay, so I'm only down one quick ball. I think I think I'll be fine. I can they're gonna be on their four prize turn. Buzzwall is active. I can knock out whichever one of these I want. Okay. So no more shenanigans. Things have to happen this turn. If I don't get anything off these two Jirachis, then I'm using Marnie. Okay, that's not good. That is also not good. Uh, yeah. So I have put myself in quite the conundrum here. I would definitely like to see a quick ball or something, please. There's a great ball. Okay, well, Spear Tomb or Buzzwool doesn't matter. I ain't picky. I'll take anyone I can attack with at this point. Okay, well, Buzzwool is definitely the one I want to go with because... That just gives me more options. So I will Pokemon Catcher the Crobat, I think. Yep. Oh, no, they're on their... What? Oh, they took two prizes. That's that's right. Okay. So then I think I go for the Poltegeist. No, can't do that. Okay, well, I have to go for... So they're on their three prize turn. I'm an idiot. Well, I have to bring up a Bunnelby. Okay. Man, the misplays of this game. You know, I got a little too uh, a little too preoccupied there, so I'll get rid of the tool scrapper, and I will Marnie. Well, there's a spirit tomb. That's great. So I put the spirit tomb down. I building spite. Do that. Uh, the cape of toughness. I don't think it matters. I just sledgehammer, use that for my, use that weakness advantage. Okay. Okay, so I can launch this fishing rod, I can go get Oracorio, I can go get to Denny. Okay. I, I made this way more difficult than it needed to be, but I think I can still win. Oh, so they played the wheezing, they played the... The spicy wheezing blow a bomb with Roxy, and they took a knockout, so I have bosses. I just need to figure out a way to get an energy. Uh, yeah. There's an energy. Alright, so what is the most expendable card right now? Well, it's probably a card that I don't have yet. So I have Quick Ball, I have Marnie. Um... I think I'll just grab Bird Keeper. That's a real bird person right there. Okay, so I will Bird Keeper into this Jirachi, draw three cards. Definitely not letting that Develthal see the field ever. Uh, I will do that. Go get a Spear Tomb. Okay. I will. Okay, well, this is going to be a little bit interesting. I will building spite. I will. I guess it doesn't really matter because yeah, that doesn't matter. So I'll just attack with this one. I'll get rid of 
Well, hang on. Let's see what I get off Jirachi in case it's something I don't need. Definitely don't need that. Because I think I'm probably out of Switch, right? Well, I'm only down two Switch, so maybe Spike Myth would be a good idea to keep. I need to keep the Fishing Rod. Well, hang on. If I get rid of the Cape of Toughness, I put the Hustle Belt down. Okay. I think I just did all the right things. Okay. <laughs> the the Pulpy Guy's weakness actually came into play here. So the only way I win is if I knock out one of their two prizers. That's it. I don't have any two prizers on the field. That was by design. I can knock out that to Denny with Spiritomb. Uh, I just need to find an energy and... Okay. This could get dicey. Okay, just, I'm, I'm running through the scenarios right now. Okay, so they have game on board. They just attached the twin energy. They are winning next turn no matter what. So it is up to me. I think putting Denny back into the deck uh, is the smartest thing. I have to bosses that that to Denny, and I need to get an energy, and that's game. So how many quick balls do I have left? I have two quick balls. I need to get to Denny, but I need to Jirachi. I need to do all my Jirachi stuff first. So this is this is the heart beating fast time here, and there's a switch. That doesn't matter. Okay, please don't freeze, game. Game has been not great lately. Okay, quick ball. That is potentially game. I'm not gonna say I have it yet. Okay, because I still need an energy. So there's, there's a potential for a game losing situation here. I'll extend this as much as possible. So I wanna just thin out, you know, I'll put the Denny back in first so I don't mess this one up. So the Denny's going back in. Uh, oh, you do have to put a tool back in, okay. So I will Stellar Wish. Uh, doesn't really matter, everything is getting, I mean, I lose next turn, doesn't matter what I get, I'm just thinning things out. Oh, this is so stressful. Why did I play this deck? Okay. I boss is there to Denny. I quick ball the research. Go get my to Denny. Okay, if I whiff this, I have I have four energy left in my deck. Every single one of those energy works for me. I'm getting six cards. Four times six is 24. There's no way I miss this, right? Come on, Spirit Tomb. Let's do this. Um, yeah, I was thinking, does it make sense to put Spike Smith into play? But no, the only way... This is it. Biggest the Denny ever. Do I get an energy? I didn't get an energy. Are you kidding me? There's nothing I can do, right? The only thing I can do is... And I can't even do that. Oh, that is... That is just horrible. That is Heartbreak City right there. I would have just had it if I got the energy. It would have been boom, game over. Oh, that is heartbreaking. I have four energy left in my 11 card deck. I just needed, I had three rainbow, I had a unit. Oh man. So my misplays came back to bite me. Oh man. That is why you shouldn't talk and play at the same time. But I will put the list in the description. You know, if, if it wasn't for me, the deck would have won. The deck is great. Spiritomb is great. It's great pre-rotation. Hopefully it's good post-rotation. I don't have high hopes. But don't be like me. They did 1300 damage. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'll end the video here. Let me know what you think of Spiritomb right now. And other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.